putting an end to identity politics. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. I want the children that are growing up in the United States to be dreamers also. They're not dreaming right now. And you look at African-American youth. I mean, 58% unemployment. You look at African-Americans in their 30 years old and their 40 years old, and we have an African-American president. And he has not done anything for the African-Americans in this country, okay? And he got a free pass, and he shouldn't have. That was Donald Trump, quintessential Donald Trump, turning a phrase back on the left. Think of marriage. The left took the word marriage and bastardized it and made it something that it isn't. And Donald Trump is saying, you're not going to take the word dreamer and apply it to people coming into this country when the fact of the matter is you are stealing the dreams from kids in America right now. And it's because of race pimping. Guys, why do you think I wrote that book? I wasn't kidding about it. Look at the use of race to pimp. They use Mexicans and call them dreamers and say there are 800,000 kids that are over here because of their parents. They're talking about the the kids of convicts, of of, uh, criminals, rather. They should be convicts. The kids of criminals who've been who've come over here. 800,000 of them are living off of you. The generosity of the American taxpayer, not because you ask for them, but because somebody let them. And what about the 20 million, give or take, whatever the number is of people that have come to this country illegally and are living however they are, mostly off of you? They, oh, Kevin, they they pay for themselves. 800,000 kids are paying for themselves. You really believe that? Oh, their parents are. Okay, so let's take the number of them that are in prison. And then let's go look at the number of people that hit our welfare system, that are in our schools, that are all the things that they're. And you try to tell me it's a cost positive thing. Forget cost positive. It isn't. They're culturally slowing us down in our schools. These are kids that don't go to school with Nancy Pelosi and their kids and grandkids. They go to the inner city schools and they slow down the very people who need the top notch education from this, this country has to offer. But I want to go back to this race pimp, David Banner. I want you to hear what he has to say to young black kids about being American. Black folks always say, well, black folks is killing black folks. How are we, why are we going to talk about white folks killing black folks when, when black folks killing black folks? First of all, it ain't the same thing. If you my sister, I can talk about your raggedy ass every day, but let somebody else talk about y'all and knock their face out. But... But the fact is this, I'm going to prove to you all right now that that's not true, all right? And you may have heard me say this before. Isn't the central processing unit of a computer based on the human brain? Yes or no? Central processing unit, right? So I taught y'all or I told y'all before that culture is about language, history, family, and all of these things, right? So let's say if a computer programmer erased all of the history off a central processing unit, right? And then they uploaded a virus, right? When the computer started freaking out, would you blame the central processing unit or the programmer? Africans did not come over here as because That was a program. We have been programmed. Black folks don't even know why they hate themselves the way that they do. They hate themselves because they've been programmed to want to be a white person. And white people disdain the fact that they can't grow their hair like you. And in actuality, what people don't know, I'm going to tell you something about white folks you may not know. White folks really hate you, not so much, well, they are racist, but for the most part, some white people, a lot of them, hate you because it's survival. You are the dominant gene. If black people keep having sex at the rate that they do, they will annihilate everybody else in the population because you are the dominant gene. If you put a black and a white person together, you're going to have a black child. You are killing them just by existing. So I mean, saying that black people have to learn to love each other. If you want to find more love, come to free lines tonight. (laughs) Alcohol is all on David Banner. They say I'll never give back. 
So I'm giving back a whole bunch of alcohol tonight. And I'm sorry, and I mean all this positive stuff that I'm saying tonight, but we turn it up. That had to be one of the most disgusting things I've heard on so many levels. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. Where do I start here? So first of all, he says, black folks killing black folks isn't the same thing. In other words, if I talk about your raggedy butt as, as a black person, I can say it because I happen to be black. So in other words, if I see the human condition, say that uh, black people uh, tend to commit a lot of crime, a white person can't say it because the human condition of that doesn't allow for white folks to say it. Only black people can, con- you know, can constructively criticize other black people. It's not the same thing when we kill each other. It ain't murder when we do it. It's only murder when the white person does it with us. It's just us being brothers and sisters. Now, that premise alone should have you going, OK, I'll dismiss it all. But then he talks about the human brain is being the CPU. Fine. You want to make the brain the CPU? Cool. And he says, so you've been programmed. And he says, he goes on, he says, culture is about language, history, family, and a virus has been uploaded to you. Whatever your native tongue was years ago, a virus has been uploaded. You know, you no longer speak Swahili because a virus is t- infected you and it's given you English. He's saying that you no longer have a history. You have nothing to point back to. Your history is based on slavery. Let me tell you something. If you are alive today, let me tell you what your history is. Your history is going back two or three generations. Maybe you, you knew your great grandfather, but I doubt that you knew your great great grandfather. But people carry on your stories. So I'll ask you this. Who's ruining black history? I know who my great great grand my great grandfather was. He made a real impact on my life. But ask yourself this. You now have a culture that this man creates. David Banner, like him, creates where 72 percent of kids don't even know their fathers. Forget grandfathers. They don't know their fathers. So what do you think is going to happen? You you think these kids are going to remember their history? We're not talking about Africa, folks. We're talking about America. So if we're uploading a virus, my question to him would be, well, who's uploading the virus? He's on the right track. It's the white man. It's who does he blame, though? It's the Democrat white man that's uploaded this virus. And he claims that because you want the whole family, which, by the way, is what you had in Africa. White people are just saying, hey, have your whole family, but you can have it in a house with a car, with a job. Maybe you own your own company and you could be watching TV as opposed to what you might have had had you grown up in Africa, which I don't know what that could be. You might have been a prince. You might have been a princess, a king. He says we're programmed to want to be white. I don't know what his programming is. I'm programmed to want to be Kevin Jackson, the host of the Kevin Jackson show. And then what's funny to me is when he goes after whites, he says, white people, they get mad because they can't grow hair like you. Really? Do you really think white people are like, dang it, sure wish I could grow an afro. If I could only grow an afro, then I wouldn't hate black folks. What he's telling you is his fixation is on his hair. I'm just keeping it real. He's saying, oh, the black, they really want to grow their hair like you. That is a lie. Black people for years have been trying to mimic white hair. Now, you can go, well, they want to be white. No, maybe they like that it combs easier. I know this. When I combed my hair when I was a kid, it freaking hurt. If you didn't, if you didn't take care of your hair, it hurt to comb it. My grandmother would say, boy, you tend to hit it. That's what she would say. No, I'm not. I'm nappy headed. And to get that that comb through my hair hurts. So if you why do you think we processed it to make it, you know, easy to comb? He says some white people hate you because of survival. I love this logic. The survival. He, He goes on black. You have the dominant gene. A black put a black person with a white person and you're going to have a black child. Yeah, the, the logic of that always used to crack me up when people would say that. My dad told me that one time he was a he, he went that whole Black Panther route. And so he was this ethnocentric black guy. Look, it's very simple. If a white man, if a black man 
gets with a white woman and has a baby, it becomes a half black child. Now you can go, oh, well, in the eyes of the law, it's black. Okay, fine. And if a white man gets with a black woman, in other words, if you're going to depurify the race, it's just as unpure if a white man gets with a black woman and has a baby. You can call the child black. It's no longer black. But I want to finish with this. He sent, He then says, love each other, black people. And the alcohol is on me. And to that I say, no, the alcohol is in you. What a fool. He won't stop until he's the top-rated radio talk show host in America. What kind of weird competitive freak are you? This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.